Hi, I am Dr. Jyotsna Deepak Patel, practicing obstetrician and gynecology since last 25 years in Varsova Krupa Hospital Andheri West, Umang Hospital MIDC Andheri East. Today the topic that I have selected to talk on is one of the most common things in my OPD and that is PCOS, PCOD or Polycystic Ovarian Disease, Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. Now let me tell you one thing, the name is big but the entity is very small, hormonal imbalance, that's it. If your body is having hormonal imbalance, the name given to it is PCOD. A lot of young girls nowadays are labelled as having PCOD. And let me tell you, it's a lifestyle disorder. It is not something that uh, you are born with or you, uh, you know, have acquired. Yeah, you have acquired it. Acquired it because your lifestyle is not in sync with your body, with nature. So how do you know that uh, you have uh, PCOD or PCOS? The common symptoms that uh, are there in PCOS is irregular menstrual cycle. That means either you are having very little flow, you are having delayed periods, you are having some kind of irregularity in your menstrual cycle. That's the most common symptom. You are putting on weight despite exercising, despite uh, maintaining your calorie intake. You are developing acne on your face. You are also developing hair around your nipples, on your abdomen, on uh, your upper lip. So that's called hirsutism. So these are the common symptoms when you start getting that you know that there is some imbalance that is happening in your body. You go to a gynecologist, she examines you and then she advises you certain tests to confirm it. Now what are the confirmatory tests? One is a routine pelvic scan which will show that your ovaries are cystic and they have a lot of follicles in it. So that is the scan report. Now only the scan report does not mean that you have PCOS. A lot of patients just come with a scan report and they say that I have PCOS. No, it needs to also be combined with a blood test. So something called PCOD profile. When we do PCOD profile, there are certain hormonal tests that we recommend. So that includes your fasting insulin, your blood sugar levels, your thyroid levels, your something called FSH, LH, serum prolactin levels and DHEs levels. So once we have that profile with us and we have sonography and we have clinical signs and symptoms then we label the person okay now this person has PCOD or PCOS which again as I said just indicates hormonal imbalance. Now how do we uh, treat it? I would say more than treatment one should look into how your young girl your daughter or you yourself are not going to have this is prevention and when I say prevention that means it has to be lifestyle modification. So you have to see to it that at least one hour in a day, you must exercise. Now that could include cardio, that could include stretching, that could include yoga, pilates, strength training. But one hour of exercise is a must. Second is your food habits. Are you consuming too much of junk? Then you need to avoid that. You need to maintain a healthy intake of food, a balanced diet. You need to have stress-free life. So get stress busters in your life have some hobbies and a good sleep at least seven to eight hours of sleep is required if you have all this in your life then you will not have hormonal imbalance and so again the treatment the mainstay is counseling about lifestyle modification there are a lot of other drugs that we give we do give hormonal medication to regularize your cycle we also give you medicines to control the acne we also give you medicines to control the excessive hair growth that you have but remember this is not the core treatment. The core treatment is lifestyle modification. That means exercise daily, have a balanced healthy meal, have a stress free or at least less stress in your life, have stress busters in your life and a good sleep. So take home messages in PCOD, it's lifestyle modification. That's all. Thank you.